Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a sleep physician. And if you have insomnia, this channel is for you. Yesterday, I received this CBT deck in the mail. And I've often wondered if, you know, CBT principles can be generalized in a way that, you know, it could benefit people with different types of problems. And I really think this deck is helpful for anyone with anxiety, insomnia, or just wanting to make a positive impact on their lives. Super nice having you back here. Um, it's it's morning time here. It's not the usual time I do these videos, but um, I'm going to go camping this weekend, so I'll be out. And I wanted to talk about the CBT deck. Uh, there's a uh, somebody that I connected with on Twitter named Seth Gillian. He's a psychologist and uh, he's written a book and uh, and then I, I honestly thought he had written another book about CBT so I just just bought it on Amazon and then when I got it yesterday in the mail I was surprised to, to find that it was this deck and then I just uh, I just pulled up random cards and I thought this is really good uh, like solid advice that and, and you know in my mind I'm thinking insomnia right and so I pulled up these uh, the, these um, cards and I felt the all this is good for insomnia and, and I bet it's good for like, as I said, for anxiety, for, you know, any type of like when you want to kind of redirect your thoughts and do positive things, things like that. So um, I, I really recommend it. Uh, I, I, I want to try this, like just pull up some random cards and, um, and, and just kind of like spin off of that and see how they apply to insomnia. So it's, it starts like this. This is just like the author. Maybe we can show you like that, Seth. And, and who I, by the way, I'm going to invite as a podcast guest. Um, he 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 he. he uh, there was this particular tweet that was really interesting uh, a couple of months ago, where he, his own mom apparently had insomnia, and she told him. I think she, he said, you know, you should try CBTI, and she did, and it worked really well for her. And she was featured in a magazine. I can't remember which one, but I, I never forget that. So it's a little bit about the author first, and then it says, you know, how to use this deck. So they're like three colors uh, for. Uh, uh, um, at least I don't know if you can see that, but there are three colors, and the lighter blue is is think. So it says that's cognitive strategies for training your thoughts to serve you well, and the what's that like green? It's act behavioral techniques for choosing actions that build the life you want, and B is the last darker, darker blue. Mindfulness practices for experiencing greater presence and connection in each moment. So let's just try this for an experiment here. Like we'll just pull out something here from the think section and see how that applies. I think this one is probably very aptly picked. Should you worry? It's hard to let go of chronic worries in part because your mind, our minds often tell us we need to worry about something and that worrying is some in some way useful even if we can't control the outcome. Notice if this belief is driving your worry today and give yourself permission to let go of unproductive trains or thought. Look at that. Like that is super, super apt, super, um, it, it's, it's, it's uh, what I think about like in terms of like insomnia here is um, our, our mind is, is try, our brains, our minds are trying to do it, you know, work for us. So therefore they're constantly kind of looking for things that may be a potential threat so that we can solve it. And that is like 100% what insomnia is. Like when it comes to insomnia, uh, our minds have identified not sleep as a threat, as a problem, and is trying to solve it. And that is the root cause for insomnia. Um, let's read this again. It tells, yeah, our minds tell us we need to worry about something uh, and, and, and it thinks it's useful, 100%. It's just, uh, just what I talked about. So let, that's, <laughs> there you go. Let's pick another one. Let's, uh, let's do another thing. I thought that those ones were really good. We'll pick here, uh, this guy. Some kind of similar here. Worries resolved. Remind yourself today of times when you were fairly certain something would go badly and it actually turned out fine. For example, worry. We could run out of gas. Outcome, we made it to the gas station. Write down five examples like this. Recognize that today's worries are likely to be on your list the next time you draw this card and allow your mind to focus on other things. The other one, super, super uh, you know, this is super helpful. Uh, and, and I think insomnia again, um, you often hear people say that a key, like a key, um, uh, we call it turning point or whatnot, was like when they realized that they had a really poor night and it didn't affect them as much as they thought, and that makes them less worried about that outcome. 
So that's where my mind went when I saw this. And and so let's let's pick a, let's pick a um, one of these act cards. Okay, let's go here. Wow, oh, almost dropped it. Oh, look at this sleep checkup. How many of these sleep related behaviors do you do? No screens in the bedroom, no uh, bedtime routine, not using alcohol to fall asleep, a consistent sleep schedule, getting natural light in the morning, a cool, quiet and dark bedroom, getting out of bed if you can't sleep, no caffeine after lunchtime, no naps, consistent exercise. If you scored lower than eight, aim to make one improvement this week. Okay, this one <laughs> was, you know, uh, I, I think uh, uh, some of the things are really good, consistent exercise, etc. For you know, this deck is is mainly for people that um, it is not specific for insomnia. So for people with insomnia, this particular card is probably not that useful because these are things that you've all already uh, tried, uh, probably. But that that being said, um, getting out of bed if you can't sleep, great one, um, and no naps late in the day, very good. Consistent exercise, very good as well. Okay, let's let's go with uh, one of these dark blue ones. Um, I think they call it mind like mindset. Let's pick this one. Loving kindness. Sit comfortably in a quiet place. Take three slow, calming breaths. Uh, bring to mind someone that you deeply love and mentally send them these wishes. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you find ease in your life. May you be free from suffering. Feel a glow of loving kindness radiating from inside you. Dwell in that love as you direct these wishes toward yourself. May I be safe. May I be happy. I think this is great. Um, I, I want to say that um, someone, who is this? I think this is Zimi, who wrote to me recently that she, her sleep therapist, had recommended like um, kind of mindfulness exercises and, and grat gratitude. Was that Zimi? I think it's Zimi, who, who said that, you know, she's practicing making like these gratitudes every day. This card made me think of that, and, and she felt it was really helpful. So uh, in conclusion, I think the CBT deck is, is I think it's great. I, I, I really, really like it. So definitely consider getting it. It's on Amazon. No, no affiliate links or anything like that, of course. I just they really thought it was helpful, so I want to talk about that. And um, I will be back uh, Monday. Have a really nice weekend. And by the way, as always, if you have comments or questions, don't hesitate to email me, daniel.insomnainsight.co. Until I see you next time.